What's up guys this is Anil and welcome to the video tutorial for the learning lab on C++ programming. So in this tutorial we're gonna learn the C in in C++. So in the last tutorial we have learned how to print something to the screen using the C out. In this tutorial we're gonna be learning C in which is used to read the text or the numbers from the keyboard. Alright so the C in is an uh, object of the class iStream uh, don't worry about the objects and classes we'll be learning that in later tutorials and uh, the C in is used to read the text or the numbers from the keyboard entered by the user and uh, the entered or read data will be stored in the variables which we're gonna specify and also we're gonna use a operator called extraction operator with the C in so we're gonna see that in detail right now all right to use C in first we need to create some variables because you know we want to store the readed value in the, our variables so that's why I'm gonna create int age so this age is a variable of type int which is gonna store some integer value and uh, now I'm gonna use C in and read the value entered by the user and store that in this age variable so it's gonna be C in then our extraction operator so this is two greater than symbols and then the variable name so what happens here is the c in is going to point to the standard input stream and this extraction operator is going to extract the input and it's going to store that in the variable specified so unlike the scanner function in C you know where we need to specify the uh, form is specifier and also you know we need to specify the address of the variable etc etc C in is very easy to use so once this statement is executed whatever the value entered by the user will be stored in this age variable and the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna just we're gonna print out the value I'm gonna use C out and uh, I'm gonna say you have entered and then uh, I'm gonna refer the variable so it's gonna be age that's it so I'm gonna save this program I'm gonna build build and run all right now we need to enter a value I'm gonna enter age 23 and I'm gonna hit the enter button and it says you have entered 23 so C in is very easy to use okay the next thing is about receiving the input for two or more variables using one C in so what we can do is we can use two separate C in and read the input but uh, I'm gonna show you how to use one C in and read the input for two variables for example now let's say I have another variable called uh, average and uh, I need to read the age and average from the user so what we're gonna do is we're gonna ask the user to enter the age and average so it's gonna be C out and I'm gonna say enter your age and average and then we're gonna add a new line just to make it pretty and um, then we can store the values in our age and average variable so the first value entered by the user is gonna be age that's why we're gonna write C in then the stream extraction operators and then age so whatever the value first entered by the user will be stored in the age variable then again stream extraction operator and then another variable name which is average so now here we're gonna print out age and then uh, let's add a new line and then we're gonna say average is then average all right now I'm gonna save this program and build and run this so now enter your age and average my age is 23 and then I'm gonna separate my input with a space and I'm gonna enter average which is uh, 88.88 and then I'm gonna hit the enter button and it says you have entered 23 which is the age and average is 88.88 so you guys can see here you know we have changed the input 
so that uh, you know we can uh, read the values for two variables at one time using the C in. And the next thing is, you know, I'm going to run this again and we need to enter our age and average. I'm going to enter the age 23 and then I can separate the input by using the new line also. I'm going to hit the enter button right now and I need to enter another value for average and let's say 66.66 and I'm going to hit the enter button again and you guys can see here uh, that you have entered 23 you know which is the value stored in the age variable and then uh, we have the average which is 66.66 all right guys this is it this is about the c in in c plus plus thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe like my facebook page at facebook.com slash learning lad and if you guys have any doubt or any suggestion don't hesitate to tell us and uh, i'll see you in the next tutorial